If you got up with the sun to beat the traffic this morning, you were too late. Before daylight, motorists already alerted to the freeway bridge closure had created long lines at the other four river crossings. Short of swimming, there wasn't a lot you could do. So it's just going to take a lot of patience this morning. Traffic again backed up oh, almost four or five miles south of the bridge on Central Avenue. The further from downtown, the shorter the lines became. Central Avenue was stacked up some five miles, while Mill Avenue bridge users endured only a two-mile tangle. The congestion at the Scottsdale and Hayden Road bridges was even less, but the Hayden Road crossing had lost one lane to erosion. Of course, the thinnest traffic was on the freeway, since all east and westbound traffic was forced to exit before reaching the bridge. Transportation and safety officials pondered the structure's problem again this morning. While the sag in eastbound lanes was obvious, the other side seemed to hold fast. So authorities allowed some motorists to test its stability. And then just before 8 o'clock, the first traffic began to come again on the freeway. Westbound traffic only, and only a limited amount of it. The motorists were in fact a sort of guinea pigs, while surveyors made their measurements to see whether or not the added traffic would affect this side of the bridge. Soon more traffic was fed across the once forbidden bridge, and while engineers detected normal jiggles from heavy vehicles, the structure appeared to be safe for its normal load on one side of the freeway. That's 10-4. All obstructions westbound should be taken down. We want uh, full flow westbound traffic. We're going to monitor the level readings on that side under traffic now, under full traffic. As our preliminary readings show that there's no problem at all on that side. And uh, this side is going to stay closed till when? Until it's repaired. Engineers don't even know how it will be repaired, let alone when. The damage and the cure can't be determined until the water flow is decreased. That might be within a week. Transportation officials say the project won't likely take as long as the two years estimated to rebuild the flood-demolished I-17 bridges near Black Canyon City, but will certainly take weeks and maybe months. Randy Ripplinger, Cool News 10.